Hi there, it's Ajmer from Now Solutions again with another video in what's new on Master Cam 2025. And in this case here, I'm going to talk about drilling and hole making. So if I click drilling, you'll notice that they've changed the menus here for giving you a lot more flexibility on how to pick parts. And in the past, you'd have to use the hole, the find holes feature in order for you to use this. But in this case here, the models are dumb solids. It doesn't matter, we can use them anyway. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm gonna to go to Toolpath and Drill, and I'm gonna show you some of these features. So if I double click a, a hole feature, it loads up the hole, and it becomes a seed feature for anything else I wanna pick. So if I put a window around something else, it'll pick all the holes that are identical to it. And it doesn't matter whether it's two parts or one part. It'll pick them all. I'll delete all that. And if I go back to my one part, if I control shift, double click. So now it's gonna look at all the features that look the same. They could be different depth counter bars and stuff like that. So this is good for me here. I'm gonna click two parts and I wanna pick the same holes in this one. It finds all the holes, so I'll say okay. And I'm gonna kinda of go through and do a few drilling operations. So I'll pick a spot drill. And here's my segment. So you can see all my segments are highlighted and all my holes are in here. So in this one, I just want the top one because I'm just doing a spot drill. And I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna say, don't show me that again. I'll clear by 200 absolute. One, calculate, and it's 34 millimeters. Oops. And I'll say, okay. So now it doesn't matter what part this is in, this is gonna go in spot right to the cone there, which is good. And I just wanna double check the last feature here. Let's make sure it's good. Yep, and it's good on that one. And it should be good there as well. And the other thing you notice is these are different heights as well. So the parts are different heights, just to show you that it looks at the actual physical hole. So then I wanna drill these, I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it. And if I look at my segments, I have a 15 millimeter diameter cylinder. So I wanna drill from the top, actually I wanna drill the whole thing. I'm gonna pick that, I'm gonna drill the whole thing. And here I'm gonna drill the whole thing as well. I'm gonna pick my 15 millimeter drill. This is all good. Don't need that anymore. And I want a tip comp of two mil. So this should start at the top of the holes and pop through. So you can see it's looking at the actual hole features and giving the proper depth. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this down and now I wanna do the counter bar. So I'm gonna change it to a circle mill. I'm gonna change my tool. So the counter bar stuff is pretty much set already. The only thing I need to do is make sure I pick the top two. I'm gonna to pick the top two, and I'm gonna pick the top two. Uh, yep, that looks all good, I'll say okay. And now I've got my counterboard doing what it should. So a lot of intelligence built into the holes now. Doesn't matter if they're solid, dumb solids from other CAD systems, or you've made them in MasterCam with holes, it doesn't matter. You can use these features.